Yes, my G's, welcome to Chillin' World Gamers. My name is Spud, I'm a vegan and I go to the gym. And today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my halfling team that I've now officially finished at last. It's taken me a little bit longer due to life and things like that, but I've got them all done now. I've even numbered, varnished, based them all. They're 100% done, finished, finitoed. So I'm just gonna go through them one bit by wit. So here we go, this is one of my runner guys. I've done a little clock on him, done the pupils. On his eyes, everything really turned out really nice. Uh, I use Geek Gaming stuff to do um, to do all the basing. Um, so make sure you go check him out. And I use the flock as well from them. Here's another tubster. Did a gem on this guy instead, um, just to make him look a little bit different to the other one. And I love the teapot. I love the teapot helmet. It's probably one of my favourite ones. And this guy, um, he's got a squirrel um, that I even painted the eyes. I don't think we can. I we can get a super zoom on the eyes on the squirrel. And um, I found out it was not supposed to be a squirrel, but I'd already painted it, rest in peace. Uh, and then this tubster with his little glove. This is one of the catcher guys. And where's the other catcher? This is the other one. Give him some ginger hair. Make him look different. I give the guy some pink socks as well, just to make him lucky. That's that's my thoughts anyway. And then you've got these guys holding the balls. But yeah, they've come out really cool. I really like them. I've really enjoyed painting them from start to finish. And the detail on them is mental, like how, how small they are as well. Um, it, this was a pan on his head, but I chopped off one of the things just so he looks a little bit different. Uh, and this guy, some of the eyes are a bit wobbly. and I've got a bit messy on some of the washes, but I want them to look a bit grimy as well. You know, they're not going to have fresh. And another, another squirrel. Uh, what's not a squirrel, but oh well. He's got... A little pan on his head, what a super legend! And then you got like the bruiser-looking guys. Um, these are really cool. I wish most of the halflings looked like these because these are my favourite ones. Oh, I had him showing him on the numbers, did the numbers uh, on the shoulder pads, and then another pan on his head. Just got this guy done. Uh, did I draw the numbers on the backs on some of them? Yeah, I did the numbers on the backs as well. Uh, it does come with transfers, but unfortunately, I just can't do them. They're useless, and I've, I've watched videos. Uh, people have shown me and I just can't do them. Uh, so this is Crumbleberry. This is one of the star players. I need to do his counterpart, Grack. But um, yeah, so they're looking super awesome. Uh, so now they can sit in a box now um, to actually get to play with them. I've still got the Squirrel to finish, Grack. And then they're pretty much done. And then the, the Chef as well, the Ogre Chef. I need to get that primed and start getting some work done on that as well. So yeah, this is my showcase thing of my halflings so as always thanks for all your spots so far i saw we'll do another video in like a week or two because i've got the treatment to build and do as well uh, from the last video so thank you everyone so much uh, my last video again like another four or five subscribers so just keep making sure you're sharing it with your friends and liking and commenting below because it does help a lot with the channel and it does make us grow with all the algorithm youtube stuff uh, so thank you everyone stay safe love you all please and don't ever forget to wear your seatbelts. Bye.